guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Paige, and this is Mel and my Great Pyrenees. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the three things you should never buy for a Great Pyrenees. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So these are just my personal opinions based on having Mello for four years on the things that you should probably not waste your money on buying. So the number one thing is going to be an expensive dog bed. Mello, personally, he hates sleeping on dog beds. That being said, some dogs do prefer dog beds over the ground and stuff, but since Mello has so much fur, he seems to prefer laying on like the hardwood floor, as you can see here. So I would not waste your money on expensive dog beds. Mello doesn't even lay on the dog beds at all that we get them. I would recommend starting off with like a cheaper dog bed just to see how they like react to it before you go and spend like a hundred to two hundred bucks on a dog bed that they're probably never going to use um so again i would recommend starting off with a cheaper one like one that's like 10 20 bucks and um trying that you can get dog beds from like target or ross stuff like that so the next thing that you should never buy for your dog is the nylon leashes so these are nylon leashes Right here, this is just Joby's turf mutt one. Um, the reason I would not recommend these, especially for bigger dogs, is because Mello, he used to have a major problem with grabbing the leashes or chewing on them. So he would basically just completely chew these in half since they are so thin and not super sturdy. He would chew them in half, like we would put them up, he would take them off chew them in half or when we were outside he would turn around and try grabbing the leash and would just sit there and chew on it so that's a habit he had a really bad problem with leashes i would recommend so i can't find a chain one but we ended up transitioning them onto a chain leash which is just a leash it's got a clip and everything it's just chain instead of nylon and it works super great because he wouldn't turn around and bite it anymore he can't chew it in half um that works super great especially when he was a puppy he doesn't really have that problem now with turning around and grabbing the leashes and stuff but he did have that a lot when he was a puppy and then the second leash i would recommend getting is a thick rope leash so this is our zippy paws leash we use these like so much these are one of my favorite leashes and they're just this thick rope so even if he did start chewing it it would still like last a while so i would recommend investing in a rope leash or a chain leash over nylon leashes we went through so many like not even kidding we probably went through like 20 anywhere from 10 to 20 leashes because he would just chew them in half um so the third and final thing i would not recommend there are some other stuff but the third and final thing i would not recommend is harnesses so harnesses make great um things to not put pressure on the dog's neck and stuff However, Mello hated harnesses. He would shoot them up. And you can find really good harnesses. Like, we have one harness that we really like that doesn't seem to bother him. But these types of harnesses, Mello would slip out of. He would chew. Again, it's nylon. So he would chew the nylon. We probably went through a decent amount of harnesses, too. And harnesses are not cheap. They're anywhere from, like... 20 all the way they could be up to like 40 to 50 bucks per harness and it just depends on how big your dog is so he would chew through them so fast and also as a puppy when you get them a puppy harness they're gonna grow like weeds they grow so fast um you'll have to continue buying new harnesses so I would just recommend um getting a collar or some type of collar or head collar, stuff like that. Harnesses also tend to encourage pulling in dogs sometimes um, because the dog is more willing to want to pull. However, harnesses do work great for walking for dogs that have good leash manners and stuff. But Mello, he's just always hated them and he would always slip out of them. He still tries to slip out of them sometimes. So we just use a basic nylon collar and that's just what works best for us. So those are the three things I would not recommend buying your Great Pyrenees puppy. Um, and that could go for any puppy too. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys next time. And I also want to say thank you guys so much for 150 subscribers. Our next goal is to hit a 200.